Hello everyone, this is Joshua. It's July 21st, 2018. In this video, it's about UMass Amherst as well as Equal Opportunity again. Look, I know some people are probably tired of seeing these videos about them. Hey, I'm tired of making videos myself. But what's really important is getting, getting my voice to be heard. I'll say it again. I know some people are probably tired of watching this video and hearing about UMass Amherst Equal Opportunity Diversity as well as UMass Athletics. But what really matters is having my voice heard because my voice really does have power, especially on YouTube. Excuse me again, sorry about that. My glass is about to fall off. Sorry about that, but that doesn't matter. What matters is have my voice be heard. And please remember, that my videos may be viewed by federal and state officials. Remember that. First, I like to apologize to UMass Amherst Police that they had to be called into something. They were called in for no reason because really, there are no laws against overcoming depression and sharing it with others. I'll say it again. UMass Amherst Police, I'm sorry you were dragged in for this for no reason, but I didn't drag you into it. It was equal opportunity and diversity as well as UMass Athletics who thought it was necessary, which it wasn't. Because, you know, I was going through that, what, summer 2016 and now summer 2018, I was sharing the fact that I overcame depression because what happened to Kate Spade and Anthony Bourdain it brought back memories about, about how I was suffering through depression. And I'll say it again. I know people are tired of hearing it, but there are no laws against overcoming depression and sharing with others. So I don't know why UMass Athletics thought it was necessary to report concerns. Yeah, they got a lot to explain to on that one. And what, equal opportunity to drag in UMass Amherst police for something that's not even a criminal matter? I'm like, that's been the huge buzz of 2018. Police being called for no reason. For what? Mowing lawns? Having barbecues? Like, really, people? Save the police for real crimes. Oh, not to mention, back in summer... What, 2017, something happened. What, police got called for no reason? Or what, police called in Florida because someone was playing basketball? Or even at UMass Amherst, December 2017, police were called because a woman was hungry and she was looking for something to eat. She asked the student nicely during the time when everyone was using up all the swipes. And what did... UMass dining manager do call police because she's been a problem before, but the student said, no, she's okay. But really, people, say the police for real crimes. And really, equal opportunity, I know what the problem is. From what I've heard, you generally tell people if they've been, if they've been cleared or wrongdoing and and then, really, it seems to me that y'all like to sweep things on the rug, which is wrong because, first of all, if an employee is being cleared of wrongdoing, they have a right to know. And that shouldn't be on file either, especially if they've been cleared of wrongdoing. So if, they, if an employee is being investigated and cleared of wrongdoing, don't sweep it on the rug. Shred the whole case. Don't put it on file. Don't sweep it on the rug. Shred it. See me again, sorry. But really, equal opportunity. The fact that some of those UMass Amherst female athletes, as well as cheerleaders, was falsifying and slandering me, and you knew it, that just makes y'all bad. It's them. And last time I checked, falsifying, slandering, etc., towards others is against UMass Amherst policy where if it's towards a student, 
visitor, or employee. I'll say it again. Last time I checked, falsifying, slandering, etc. towards a student, employees, or visitors is against UMass policy. And they are penalties. And like I said in the last video, if this continues to happen, there could be penalties, not just towards the complainers, you know, who are falsifying me and stuff like that, because what? They were looking for a reason to complain about. Not only could be penalties towards them, there could also be penalties towards the school and the state of Massachusetts. So like I said, the falsification, the slandering, the defamation, that's all got to stop, and it stops now. And as for UMass Amherst Athletics, if someone on your end is in the wrong or out of line, your job is to check them. Don't celebrate. Don't make excuses. Check them. Really. And just be, and just let everyone know, when I make these videos, I'm not doing it to bash anyone. I'm making these videos to set the record straight. I'll say it again. When I make these videos, it's not about bashing anyone, putting anyone down. It's about setting the record straight. And also, listen carefully. There never was a disturbance. I'll say it again and listen to me carefully. There never was a disturbance. Never was. So that's got to stop. And no, I did not create any problems. For those of you that are saying that, that's got to stop as well. And I'm sure people by now are saying, oh, this is a clickbait. This is attention seeking. Seriously, if anybody that thinks this video is a clickbait or attention seeking, it clearly shows they're numbskulls, they're boneheads, they're idiots. Only idiots, boneheads, numbskulls would think this is a video is a clickbait, attention seeking, etc. This is not. It's not about attention seeking. It's not about clickbaits. It's not about putting down anyone. It's not about bashing anyone. This is about setting the record straight. And see, this is why UMass Amherst keeps getting themselves in trouble with lawsuits because they don't look at the whole thing carefully and things get blown out of proportions. That's one of the main reasons why UMass Amherst will continue to get themselves in trouble with lawsuits. And like I said, it will continue to happen. So if they don't get their stuff together, or should I say, if UMass Amherst doesn't get their stuff together, more lawsuits will come at them. I may not be a UMass Amherst cheerleader, but get it together, Maroon White. I'll say it again. I may not be a UMass Amherst cheerleader, but get it together, Maroon and White. Alright? Now I'll say it again. This video is not about bashing anyone, putting anyone down. And this is not a clickbait. This is not attention seeking. This is setting the record straight. That's what it, that's what this video is about. Alright? No more of that. So make sure you read everything in my description. Top to bottom. If you see a link, click it. So please like, share, subscribe. No negative comments, no racist comments. Thank you.